I wonder if the lands will be able to get their heads around the threat of a boycott against the Sochi Winter Olympic Games because of anti-gay legislation just passed in Russia. I am an American Olympic figure skater. I'm a very, a very flamboyant gay man, if you couldn't tell. I am an athlete, I'm a husband, I'm a father to a beautiful puppy. Sport and politics are intrinsically linked, unless, as Lord Carrington said, you're living in a dream world. Sexual orientation is the battleground this time, and Russia's attitude to homosexuals the focus for debate. Tell me, what it, say hi to the BBC. Say hi to all the English people. From the outside, figure skating looks very flamboyant and very gay uh, to, you know, much of, of the Western world and lots of our countries. In Russia, a male figure skater is a man's man. Russia is a place that I've been obsessed with since I was very young. And uh, to say I'm a Russophile is, is kind of an understatement. I speak the language. I've married one of their people. When I go, I'm, I go to Russia as a celebrated athlete. I am treated very well. I'm kind of a tchotchke. I'm a pretty cute thing that sparkles and shines and dances and entertains people. And in Russia, that's not threatening. If I was going to Russia as a normal person, this is a time when I would have to rethink that. This is a time when I would be afraid. The laws against gay people at the moment in Russia are, are terrible. What is so terrifying about me and my people that you want to deny us rights and liberty and, and the ability to live freely? And I would ask the same thing of people that are against the gays in America. But I, I'll never stay away from Russia. Even if they don't want me there, I'll make them have me there, unless they deny me a visa. This year in Sochi, the gulf between East and West remains vast. 